relationship intelligence just exactly what is it that's responsible for everything in your life your health your happiness your success your relationships everything comes forth from your history of relationships your relationship with yourself with other people and with a higher power so how does all this work well it begins with the fact that your brain sends out a pair of nerves so everything happens in pairs and in the pair one of those nerves goes to a set of muscles and another in that pair the partner goes to an organ system. So, as a specialized kinesiologist, which has to do with the motion of the body, with the muscles, with their integrity, I can tell by testing a number of very specific muscles or families of muscles what's going on with your body, at least in terms of determining where the blocks are what the blocks are all about and because my hands are very sensitive I can also determine well let's see is that organ system operating at 95 percent at 80 percent at 20 percent so that way I can tell where's the priority that we need to start however I don't just stop there you see your body's wisdom is tense of millions of years older than your logical mind wisdom so that your body is keeping a record of everything that happens all across your life and it starts when you're in your mother's womb before you're even born well it can start there so that each event that happens registers at, as a particular emotional theme. Now what do I mean by an emotional theme? Well, for instance, let's take the muscle that's on the outside of your leg. It's called the fascia lata. The fascia lata actually connects or reveals what's going on in your large intestine. Well, think about it. What are the issues with your large intestine? For some people, it has to do with constipation or with difficulty in being able to move your bowels, to release things. And the emotional issue is letting go of things versus holding on for dear life. So with your lungs, that's another set of muscles. It's about being able to take in life force because you breathe in the energy that's life giving. So I love myself. I value and live by my values or I reject my values. Now here's the interesting thing. Each event that happens doesn't just register along one meridian or in one chakra. These are all the energy centers that run through your body. But actually will register multiple times in different themes. So it all adds up creating blocks over your whole lifetime and eventually like a folder that you keep stuffing papers in it and stuffing papers in it and stuffing papers in it well as your meridians and chakras get stuffed with an event an event an event and what happens when your folder gets full it's going to break apart what happens when your body system overloads you're going to have a manifestation of health issues, emotional issues, spiritual issues. So not only is there a theme, but sometimes whatever the issue is, it's coming because it's a spiritual issue. And sometimes it's coming 
because it is a physical issue. So all these factors come into play and by then asking the body, what's the priority? Where do we start to make the corrections? I don't have to waste time. I don't have to guess because if you guess wrong what you want to tend to, well, it's going to come back. Did you ever go to, say, a chiropractor and they want to see you three times a week for a month and then two times a week for a month and they'll tell you, oh, but then you have to come back for maintenance because it's going to go out again. That's because you didn't get the priority, which will clear everything under it. And it's also because you didn't clear the full history. Now the thing is the history is not going to come because you're reporting it. The history and all those blocks going on all across your life, well that's the point. They're happening all across your life. They're very subtle. They might have a huge impact on you and you kind of lock them away. Kind of submerge them in your subconscious mind and therein lies the problem. They're in your subconscious mind. So you can go to somebody and you can talk and talk and talk all you want, but you're not going to clear out what you cannot access with your conscious mind. So when I talk about relationship intelligence, I'm talking about discovering where you have disconnects in your relationship with yourself. And I'm talking about your higher self with your own spirit. I'm talking about where you have relationship disconnects with other people. And it might be individuals and it might be groups of people. And I'm talking about a disconnect of your relationship to a higher power, whatever you want to consider that. And I'm not talking about religion, I'm talking about spirituality. I'm Allie Bierman, and you can learn more about relationship intelligence at your relationshipintelligence.com. Um, I encourage you to grab the gift that I have there to get you started with this whole concept of what relationship intelligence is. Because once you get it down, here's the thing. All of those blocks are happening in your energy fields, in your energy bodies. And by clearing them out while they're still in your energy bodies, they never have to come into your body and manifest in a physical form.